D2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified and now in this video I'll be troubleshooting this train RTU or rooftop unit all right so stay tuned for that come with me on this journey I'll be troubleshooting it step by step but before getting to the video you know if you have not subscribed do so right now I do upload videos on a weekly basis all right so subscribe smash that bell icon it's a nice beautiful sunny day out here in New York all right so I have my toolbox right here got my cages you know ready to go up and start my troubleshooting okay so uh yeah come along with me for the ride so behind here we have the the control display This is where we have the keypad and the display so we can see what's going on with the unit and um, right now it's doing cooling stage one and supply fan is on as you can see and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the there's obviously a, a problem or fault there's the diagnostic is flashing and the alarm light is flashing all right so I'm gonna go ahead and hit this. And yeah, you know, it says here, cancel, declare, all active. And uh, it says, or press next to view. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit next, because I wanna see what's going on here. It says, active. The screen is a bit glossy, so you know, it's reflective. And I'm trying to get a good angle here so you guys could see active diagnostics filter that's one and press next that's not that's not going to shut down the system or create any problem with the cooling this is a no cooling um, situation okay and this here train unit so yeah this right here looks like more like a problem right because we see that we got uh low refrigerant charge circuit one okay so yeah that pretty much sums it up <laughs> that was easy right so now I'm gonna have to get my gauges and I'm gonna go ahead and um, gauge up on circuit one this system doesn't have a transducer no pressure transducer so I'm gonna have to go in there open the panels and go in there and um, get my gauges on circuit one well yeah it's, I'm off to a good start I would say so stay tuned so I just want to point out before I continue, while I'm here, I want to show you guys how to uh, how you would clear or reset the alarm or the active alarms from this screen right here. So we, we know we have the first one is dirty filter, which doesn't affect the cooling. The system will still cool with that alarm. It's not a, it's not a critical alarm. But here, when I go to next, when I hit next, that one right here, this one right here is a critical alarm. So this system has four compressors. Uh, they're in tandem, two in circuit one and two in circuit two. So we know only 50% of capacities, capacities are going to work in right now because this one is off on the refrigerant. You see the alarm right here, you saw it. So if I hit next and uh, it's, a, so it's just the logs, right? There's no more active alarms. So I'm gonna hit cancel and it's back to the screen. Now it's not diagnostics main screen. So it says, Diagnostic log is password protected. Um, please enter password, right? But uh, I'm gonna go previous. Oh, next. And I was gonna, all right, you know what? So I hit diagnostic from the start, from the main, because I wanna show you how to reset it, right? So you hit diagnostic. So you do that. And it says press cancel to clear all active diagnostics. So I'm gonna go ahead and press cancel. 
and you say says diagnostic reset password protected enter password and um, so here it is right here clear active diagnostic it's minus plus plus then enter we go minus plus plus wait a minute what's going on here clear all so let me go again hit cancel minus plus plus enter you can hear the machine just shut down it's resetting right now that's how you clear the diagnostics and this here train unit it's a big this thing is massive all right so i'm gonna have to remove these panels for certain to get in there and um but yeah stay tuned all right um remember if you have not subscribed do so right now you, you know you want to get videos like this i upload videos like this on a weekly basis i'm um, real world real age vac no editing that's what my channel is about i'm not going to do any editing no matter what you know what i mean no editing this is from the field up onto youtube so subscribe uh, smash that bell icon so that i do upload videos again right away because you never know what i'm gonna be uploading Maybe useful to you, maybe not. Maybe it's entertainment. Maybe it's just, you know, knowledge, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Just, just if you're in HVAC, you, you're going to want to be subscribed. And you're going to want to have that bell icon uh, smash because you never know. You'll be in a service call and, you know, this knowledge is going to help you out, all right? So anyways, um, so the system has uh, been reset. The system's occupied. Supply fan off. It's going to go through its thing. It's going to restart. So supply fan is on now. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down and look at the system parameters for circuit one. All right, so stay tuned. So we're going to go into the status and look at what's going on with the compressors. The system is restarting right now. And this thing is just reflective. I'm doing my best here, guys, so you can see it. Trying to get a better angle. All right, so I'm going to press status. All right. Wow, it's crazy. Status. And I'm going to hit next. Okay, and I'll hit next until I see the compressor compressor status sub menu. Because that's what I wanted to see. Compressor information. Oh, oh, that's better. That's better. All right. So, and so I'm gonna press enter in that because I want to see the compressor. What's going on with my compressors? I'm gonna press enter in that. And compressor relay K11. It's enabled. Oh, this thing is not looking so good. I'm sorry guys for this, but uh that's what it is. Can't get a good angle in this thing. Okay, so K11 relay. That's for compressor number one. That's one of four. It says off and it's enabled. Hit next. K12 relay compressor number two. Circuit one. So K11 is compressor one, circuit one. And K12 is compressor 2 circuit 1. It's off. And K3, that's the second circuit, compressor number 3. Off and enabled, so that looks that's looking good. That's what you want to see. If it's if, if there's an issue with it, it would say off. But it also, if there's an issue, it would say lockout. Right? So all four compressors are looking good. I mean, initially I think it would have said lockout on the first two, K11 and 12, because there's a problem with the refrigeration. You saw the you saw the default. I mean the diagnostics earlier. So let's go down, and it says here, circuit one, MCM enter and evap seventy five, leaving. What? Nah, that's a problem, baby. That sensor has to be defective, right? That's that's a problem right there. That's I gotta find that sensor. That's that's no good. That's bad. That sensor is no good. It's another issue right there. All right, so go down. Uh, hit next, come on. Circuit 2. Same thing, entering 77. Leaving 75. That makes more sense. So, if we go back to circuit number 1, same situation. What do I do right here? Come on. I want to go back. So, we'll go down here. Evaporator circuit 1. That's the one that has a problem. And it says right here, condensing uh, saturated temperature, 78. 
Well, one is it did a thermistor on the condenser header pipes, and that's what that is. Um, based on the pressure resistance system is R22. I mean, based on the uh, based on it, it's basically taking the temperature of the pipe. I don't know how we calculate this number here. I'm um, just saying I don't know really what to make of this. It's saying 78, so I guess you could you could con uh, convert 78 uh, degrees to pressures. I don't know. Anyways, these are, these are, that sensor I know is on the condenser header pipe. Perhaps I'll show you guys. Now next. So the same situation with the evaporator on the circuit 2. You see that it's 75 and 78. So that makes more sense. Okay. And also the condenser saturated uh, temperature. Circuit 2. Alright, so hit next. And it says condenser fan. Circuit 1 off, you know. Obviously, we didn't start up the machine and cooling right now yet. Okay. And I think condenser fan speeds. It was going down. Uh, low ambient compressor lockout. Temp is set 50. It's currently 78 outside. Next. That's it. All right. So, it's going to wait for the system to bring the compressor back on. And I'm gonna, in the meantime, I'm gonna open these panels because I have to get my gauges hooked up. Let's stay tuned for that. The pressure is on right now. So one of four is on. And entering evaporator temperature has went down, gone down. And this number has also gone down, but it's still, this sensor is still faulty. Okay. Didn't open the panels as yet, it came on before I get a chance to. But I'm going to go ahead and do it real quick, get my gauges on. Stay tuned. 